Hey, hey there, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having a good day today. It's a beautiful day here in Iola, Texas. Y'all know I think that anyway, right? It's a blessed day, and that's all that matters to me. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. Things are going good. Um, I'm getting in it. What is it? I've seen that. My... There, okay, I got it. Like that matters, right? Anyway, uh, I'm in here getting stuff going, and I've been made a few uh, different items and stuff, but I wanted to whip out one more quick little just something, something to have for over the weekend, right? And so I realized I had the stuff in here to make that cherry fluff salad that's so easy to make. Um, it's just easy to make, right? And it's quick, easy, and uh, you can put it in a tub, put it in the refrigerator, and it's out of the way. It's one of those kind of things, y'all. And and it's good. It's good to get a little old bowl of it and nip along. It's just refreshing, okay? You know, it's kind of good summertime dessert. It's cherry fluff salad. Y'all have to check it out and see what you think if you hadn't made it before. But now, I'm not sure exactly how much of it I'm going to make. Because like I say, I went in here, come in here and got <clears throat> stuff out of here that I that I already have. Y'all know I'm always doing that. Let me put my light over here. Hold on, let me see if the other one's going Maybe that'll help a little bit. Anyway, um, but I'm using what I got in here, so we'll see about the amounts. And really, y'all, this isn't a measuring one either. It's not. I hope one day I can get all y'all to where you don't worry about measuring so much. Right? You know? And most of the time, to me, if you kind of keep in mind, when it says a salad, I don't care what kind it is. When it says salad, it don't have to be exact on measurements. That's, that's Tally Faye theory anyway. Looky here, y'all. Here's here's what I got. I got it cubed up in here already because I wanted it kind of room temperature, but I have a half of an eight-ounce block of cream cheese in here. One half of those eight-ounce blocks, okay? Half a block. Now, I've got me a can of the sweetened condensed milk. Y'all know me and my H-E-B, right? Now, I tried to get leave this have any of this stuff out room temperature, but I mean, my can stuff was out, so... That's good anyway. But anyway, we go ahead and we put this whole can of condensed milk in here. Now, this tells you right now that, uh, you know, don't be worrying about calories if you're going to be eating this dessert, right? Okay, I'm going to beat this up and get it creamy. all the beating we have to do. The rest of it's going to be stirred in there, y'all. I don't think this little spoon's going to work. Let me get my wooden one. Get my wooden spoon over here. I can stir with it. Okay. So now, the next thing I'm going to do is I've got, I had me, here it is. I kept it so I could show you. I've got one of these 20 ounce cans of crushed pineapple, right? I took it and I strained it and I squeezed it out and everything. So it is very, very drained, okay? I wanted it to be very, very drained. So that can of uh, uh, crushed pineapple goes in there, just like that, okay? The next thing we have is a can of cherry pie filling. Cherry pie filling, all right? And don't be getting the light or whatever. I mean, what's the use of getting light if you just put in a whole can of sweet and condensed milk, right? So go on, go for it. That's what I say. All right. Can of cherry pie filling. See, all this other stuff, we're just going to fold it in like, basically. Ain't no more beating on it or nothing. You don't want to tear your cherries up and all that good stuff. Let's see. All right. It's really easy, y'all, and worthy of, of putting up in, in the refrigerator for another side dish if you've got people coming over, especially because it's so quick to make as well, right? Sometimes you need these little quick dishes. Uh, you know, you can't just have everything that's got to be in the oven for four hours and blah, 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 you know? 
Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna just kind of fold this in. Try not, like I say, try not to tear my cherries up in there. Which they want, they're pretty tough, I think, as long as I don't just whoop on them. Okay, that's got it blended enough because we still got to add some more. Okay, the next thing we got is I've got a cup of chopped nuts here. Now, y'all, this is where you do things. When I say you use what you got, it, it needed a cup of the little miniature marshmallows. Well, I didn't have them, so but I had some of the big marshmallows. So I started cutting them up. Well, they stick all they'd stick all together in a big old glob like like that, right? So I just got me some sugar on a plate and dropped them in there, kind of rolled around in it. Well, it separated them out for me. So I got me about a cup of miniature marshmallows I'm gonna put in here. That's, we're gonna call them miniature. They, I mean, they, they little than what they was, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, don't be scared, you can make it happen, right? You can make it happen. I don't want to get all that sugar in there, though. That's already going to be a little bit extra sugar because it's coated on them, but that'd be all right. Okay, and more or less about a cup of chopped nuts. Pecans, walnuts, whatever you like, right? Y'all know I'm a walnut girl. There we go now. Let's get that stirred in there. And y'all, this fix can be ready. All we got to do is stir some whipped topping in it. You see, right now... Oh, goodness, I do that all the time, don't I? And it's and it's a pretty salad, too. But see, right now, it's pretty uh, thick. You know, it needs, it needs the whip topping in it. But I don't like to put as much as most of them call for. Let me get a different spoon here. I just don't. That's up to you. You can put uh, two cups or more in this if you want to but i don't i ain't even doing that y'all I, I don't know let me see i'm just taking it out of here i'm gonna put just enough in there to help it be a little bit airy a little bit airy on the make it be the fluff thing right but i'm gonna i'm gonna call that right there see that's all i want in it but you put in there you put in there how much you want it ain't gonna hurt it it just depends on if you like a lot of whipped topping in there. But that's it, right there. That's all you gotta do. Stir that up. We're gonna put it in a bowl. Put the lid on it, put it in the fridge, and we got another wonderful side. A wonderful side dish, y'all. Cherry fluff salad, okay? Easy peasy. I made this a long time back ago, and it's pr probably pretty much exactly what I just did on the same realm of it. But you can see how easy it is to get it done like that. And there it is. That be the one. Let me see. I'll just get me some out of here. Let me, I guess I'm going to get a cherry and a... Right, try to get a little piece of everything. Oh my goodness, that's going to make for a... Big old bite. <laughs> mm hmm It's good stuff, y'all. It is good stuff. I just love it because it's so easy. So easy. I'm take it up in this bowl. The kids will love it. I don't think they even mind the nuts in it. But if they do, they can be like I was when I was a kid. I just spit the nut the nuts out in my na napkin and just don't say nothing. You better not say nothing, right? Not back in our day. You better not say nothing like that. There we go. Let me see. It's going to be pretty in there. I'll let it chill and get good and cold. It is good when it's like really cold, you know. Um, how about that? That makes for a nice 
quick salad, y'all. So, anyway, I wanted to show you how to do that real quick. Some of these things, you know, it's hot summertime and you're trying to come up with stuff and, you know, it's hard sometimes, you know, and the people ain't, you're hungry, but you're not. And so, you gotta have some fresh stuff on the side, at least, you know. You gotta have some substance, but you still want some fresh stuff. So, there it is, y'all. Cherry fluff salad. I hope y'all like it. Give it a try. And, uh, let me know what you think about it if you had never tried it. You know, it's a classic. It's one of them old classic recipes, that's for sure. So, any old who. I love y'all. Have a great evening. Y'all uh, take care of each other. Lift each other up. And stay blessed. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.